Hey everyone and welcome back to the next video. If you're a reader, have you ever encountered someone who just kind of scoffs when you tell them that you listen to audiobooks? I've had people say to me, Do you really consider listening to an audiobook reading? And my answer is always yes. But before we get into why my answer is yes, I'm keen to hear what your thoughts are. Do you listen to audiobooks? Do you prefer reading? Let me know in the comments and I'll be keen to have a discussion with you about it. I'm open to all opinions, but my answer is yes. That said, I do understand that um, what different people consider to be reading varies from person to person. And I think it also depends on what you're reading for. I think generally for me, the reason I like to read is to learn new information. Whereas some people like to read just for entertainment or they might like to read to learn a new technique or about a new topic. But here's the thing about reading that I think most people like to ignore, which is that most readers only re remember about 10% of what they read. I actually read a really interesting article about how some researchers actually think that this is because we've externalized our memory through the internet. That's a whole different topic. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in reading the article. But if you really think about it, if you've read a book in the last 12 months, how much of it can you really remember? If you try and remember a lot of the details in the book, you probably have a really hard time. Most people I think can remember like the overarching story or the theme of the book. They can remember maybe some individual stories or individual characters. And you might remember the, the chapter progression or the overall progression of the story. And most likely you remember how it made you feel. And the big thing that you'll probably remember the most is one or two key takeaways. And it's this part that's the key for me. And even for me, when I read a book, I forget most of the details. I'd say I'd probably only remember about 10% of the books that I read as well. But I think the important thing to note is that most books only have one or two key ideas that they're trying to convey throughout the book. Most of the extra details in books, including the stories, the illustrations, the facts, the figures, they're all there to illustrate, flesh out, and give depth to that one main idea. For example, this book, Factfulness, it's a really great book if you're looking for an interesting read. Um, I read it maybe a year and a half to two years ago and I don't remember one single fact from this book. It's full of facts. But what I do remember is the overarching idea and theme, which is that the world's better than you think because facts often tell a different story to what the media tells you. And the important thing about that for me is that I've taken that idea and I've applied it to my real life. The cover even says, 10 reasons we're wrong about the world and why things are better than you think, which is basically the whole idea of the book in a single sentence. And even the 10 reasons, which go into more detail about the main idea, I don't really remember them. But what's important to me is that now every time I hear something in the news or I hear about some crazy thing that's happening in the world, I don't just immediately believe it. I question it and I, I try and look at the facts a bit more objectively because I know that the media doesn't always tell you the full story and that the facts are often different. And for me, I've definitely found that whether I listen to an audiobook or whether I read a physical copy, I still remember that, that one or two uh, main ideas equally. And so I'd actually argue that audiobooks are potentially better for remembering key ideas in a book. And that's because when you're reading a physical book line by line, you can, you can tend to get a bit bogged down in the details. You might fixate on a particular line or a particular word, or you might lose your train of thought while you're reading and you have to go back and reread that line, then reread that line and then you just start, get stuck. However, with an audiobook, because it's constantly moving, you don't have the option to go back and reread a line. You have to stay in the flow of it and you get the gist of what's being said, even if you miss a line here or there or a detail here or there. And so by the end of what you've listened to, you've got the, the gist of what's being said and how it relates back to that main idea in the book. Another reason why I think audiobooks can actually be easier at times is because it's easier to concentrate on an externalized voice. Often when, when you're reading, you'll be hearing your own voice in your head as you read line by line, and that's competing with your other thoughts. Whereas when you're listening to an audiobook, you're hearing the voice of someone else, and so it's easier to concentrate on someone else um, and not get distracted by your own thoughts. And so for these reasons, about 70% of the books I consume, I listen to by audio. And this suits me just because it's so efficient. I can get through a lot more books and understand 
understand and discover a lot more big ideas um, in, a, in a shorter space of time than I could if I just dedicated say half an hour each night to reading a physical book. Now I'm definitely not saying that audiobooks are better than physical books. I think it depends on the type of book you're reading. I generally say if you're reading um, a story, a more story based book or a narrative based book then I would recommend audio because it's something that you can easily follow along with. It doesn't matter if you miss a certain detail here or there. You can still again get the gist of what's happening. But then I think if you get into more technical books um, and particularly books that have illustrations with like graphs or charts that help you to understand that big concept then I think it's better to read a physical copy because then you can really understand it more clearly. And so those are my thoughts on audio books versus reading. Let me know what you prefer, whether it's audio or whether it's reading. Other than that, I'll see you very soon in the next video.